this episode of Smash Engineering. Today we're working with a best way pool. Um, I do or should soon have a video on installation and we followed, kind of followed the instructions. It's kind of like a picture book more so than anything. Um, but we cut out the sod, uh, we leveled the dirt underneath, we compacted it with a compactor and then we filled it with water and uh, about day two of use, um, we noticed an, I noticed an inherent flaw, and it is whenever there is splashing or waves going on, the water dumps over. Get close up to that. It dumps over, and it's washing the sand out from underneath the. Uh, the wooden support the support braces here so today i'm going to show you how i fixed this one so we got one that's already been done we've tested it and, and tried it and it works um, we're putting uh, two foot boards underneath the eight inch boards they're like approximately eight inch square i just made them perfectly square so whatever a two by eight actually is seven and a quarter or whatever it is i made them exactly square but <coughs> The only way to really do this without doing it like this is to drain your pool. Well, this pool has been filled chemically like sound. It, it, we've put a lot of time and effort and money into making it um, pH right and everything. Um, so we didn't want to drain the pool. Plus there's really no place really to drain it easily and then refill it. So we wanted something that we could do um, and, and fix this in practice. And I, I've seen that a lot of people have this kind of problem with these pools, so I wanted to make a quick video um, on how I fixed it. So, everything I'm about to do, obviously, with anything in life, there's some dangers involved. You know, do these things at your own risk. I'm not saying this is a foolproof way. You definitely can get hurt doing this, so so this is informational video only, um, but this is how I'm gonna do it. And so, anything you do from this video is take it at your own risk, because um, you definitely could get hurt. There's 55,100 gallons of water in here or of, of pounds of water in here. So you have uh, an unheard amount of weight um, on these end poles. But like I said, we're only lifting them um, a little bit to get this back level. I wanna try to see if I can get this where the sun's on. If you see this here, this was level when we filled it. Uh, you might have to look from the top. You can see the, the thing is way, way off to the right, which means this is way down and if you get uh, level with the pool here you can see that this corner dips way the corner here dips way down um, because it has washed these out so this one over here actually washed out the one that I've already fixed actually washed out about three almost three inches it was almost three inches down and uh, we fixed that one and if you can see that but we fixed that one and now it's perfectly level. So this one before had a three inch run out between this point and that point, which if you know anything about how that works, that's a crazy amount of uh, drop. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll throw on some, some upbeat music maybe and I'll show you what I do.
Okay, now that we've leveled that, and I mean packed sand underneath that, and pulled it out, made sure it was level, put it back in, packed sand around it, um, we're ready to go ahead and set this down. Now when I lifted this, I lifted slightly above what was level. Because you gotta think, I need room to work down there. So I lifted it up just a little bit over what was level. That way when I set it back down, it returns to perfectly level. So let's go ahead and do the scary part. Make sure if you are doing this, the strap you're using is rated for the pounds you expect to be lifting. Every tool is different. Water, you can look it up on Google. I think water is like eight and a half pounds per gallon. Um, just plain water. Salt water might weigh a, a little more because of salt in it. I'm not positive, but just just be cognizant of, of how much you're lifting and, and try to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and check the level now. See if we... Looks like we're good. This one is sunk down just a smidge. Right here, so we may have to end up doing that one too. But uh, another way to check your pool is to see how much of the white or how much of the, the water is perfectly level. So you can look around and see this corner over here is still a little bit low. Um, so we may have to relift this corner and kind of just re-level this, but we're leaps and bounds ahead of where we were. I mean, water, this water line was actually coming over, like over this edge steadily. So we're getting back to where we need to be. So anyway, if your pool is having issues with that type of thing, um, you can try this. Another thing you could try is like an engine hoist, an engine lift if you have one. Um, the, other, the other option is doing what I did here. And uh, I'm, I'm not saying this is safe by any means. Um, you are putting yourself in harm's way a little bit. Also, if your jack falls and your hand's underneath there messing with the thing, it will crush your hand. And if you're the only one there, you'll be stuck there until someone comes and gets you, unless you got your phone on you. So be super safe. I hope this helps. Um, this was kind of a, a moment where we were like, oh no, what do we do here? There's, there's no, there's no rule book for this. So I kind of had to just throw some smash engineering into the mix. And, uh, believe me, this is, this is what I mean. I don't know if you look at my earlier videos that where we got smashed, the acronym smash from it's some moronic activities solicit harm, um, or may solicit harm. This is definitely, uh, one of those situations where you could get hurt doing it. So be safe. Um, I hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching. I guess try to try to help your neighbor. Try to uh, stay out of this heat. It's uh, supposed to be like 100 degrees here today. 105, I think, with the heat index. And uh, so, pool's a nice way to go. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, subscribe, and throw a like on there if you can. Throw a comment on there. Tell me how stupid this was, or how cool this was if it helped you. Um, and be super safe. Check everything. Double check everything if you're going to try this. Remember, it's at your own risk. I love you guys, and uh, thanks for watching.